The advances in medicine are dramatic. I know I was a medical student 25, 30 years ago. At that point, if somebody came in with, with a severe stroke, you would put them in the side room in palliative care and, you know, look after them, make sure they're comfortable. But that was kind of about it. But now, you know, we have fantastic clock-busting drugs. We have endovascular clot retrieval where you go in in the groin and you, you, you pick the, the clot out, which produces incredible results if done, you know, in a, in a timely manner. And so, you know, the next stage is using technology to improve those further. And many of your listeners might be aware of the Australian Stroke Alliance, which is a partnership project in Australia, which is looking at which Stroke Foundation is involved in, which is looking to miniaturize CT scanners so they are light enough to go in aircraft and small enough to be in, you know, really rural or regional hospitals. So as you know, strokes are a medical emergency, but you have to find out whether it's either an ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke as to whether you're going to give clot busting treatment. And so having a CT scanner at the patient's bedside, basically, in their home or where, wherever the aircraft lands is absolutely game changing. So these CT scanners are either the size of a bicycle helmet or a, a small kind of donut, more the traditional one. And that's kind of, you know, that's a game changing thing. And the project's about, oh, it's more than halfway through now. And they've got two, these two prototypes that look like they're going to be able to be commercialized and used.